guys. It's Josh and Cammy from Cooper Family Homestead. Uh, we got tagged by Medlin Family Farm and Walker Farm Fam to do our do the ten homesteading questions that Copper Kettle Farm started this year. Uh, so we're gonna do that for you guys. Uh, go check out Walker Farm Fam and uh, Medlin Family Farms answers too. So uh, anyway, first quick we got notes. So if we look down, that's why. Uh, first question is what got you into homesteading? Um, for me, uh, I'm an animal lover, and just decided to go get goats one day after we moved up here where we're at now. Uh, and it just kind of escalated from there. Uh, kept buying animals and kept adding things. And, you know, my grandpa always had a garden when I was a kid, so it's just kind of part of it. But, uh, yeah, we ended up with a homestead, and we just keep adding things to it. That's what that's what got me into it. Well, for me, I married Farmer Brown over here. Um, I didn't know that when I vowed to marry him, it included... You know, you're going to be Mrs. McDonald on the farm, but here we are. Um, and with this guy, if he says he's going to do something, he's going to do it. So you might as well just say, okay, we'll try it. Yeah, you love it, though. I do now. Yeah, I told you you would. <laughs> okay. Number two is what something do you want to add to the homestead in 2020? Um, we want to, I want to add bees, which we're doing. We already got our nook. And, uh, told you. We also, I wouldn't mind having some ducks. I kind of want to add some ducks. Um, uh, I've kind of watched videos of people's ducks, and they seem kind of cool. So, <laughs> may may venture down that road this year, too. So We'll, we'll see. We'll you, talk about what it. What do you want to add? I'm kind of excited for the bees, not only for the honey, but for um, stuff like the beeswax. Um, I'm kind of interested in making stuff with that. Trying to see how that goes. Um, we may do some stuff in conjunction with Yarnia if the beeswax thing kind of works out. Um, Tell them what Yarnia is. That would probably help. Well, somebody would have linked it. I have before. Um, Yarnia is my side hustle. Um, everybody's got one. I knit stuff for the side. I like to knit. I mean, I think it's therapeutic. It's calming. Okay. Number three is what's the most difficult lesson you've had to learn about homesteading? Um, my my most difficult lesson was uh, was uh, we we bought a Nigerian dwarf goat and banded him. Uh, he was going to be a pet weather for Cami and Bug, um, and I didn't do my research when I got him. Went and picked him up. Found out he had City and he had just, literally just got over it, according to the woman I bought him from. Um, brought him home. Didn't quarantine him right. Uh, didn't do it the right way. And he ended up giving City to Jim, the white and brown buck. And he ended up, Garby ended up dying. His name was Garby. He ended up dying of pneumonia. So, uh, little buddy died in my arms when we were trying to treat him, and uh, he just couldn't make it. So, that was my hardest lesson I've had to learn. Since then, I have completely altered how I do everything as far as the animals are concerned. Uh, I'm more careful. I quarantine when I bring new ones in. I do my research on breeders now. I don't just buy goats from anybody. Um... And I, I keep records of everything. I have spreadsheets on spreadsheets on the computer that I keep track of weekly notes of how the goats are doing. If I see any signs of anything weird going on. Goat assessment. Temperature, FAMACHA scores. I take care of everything. I do that for all the animals, the rabbits, the chickens, the dogs. Uh, we've since got a veterinarian to come out now. Um, uh, we got a farm vet that comes out now, and we're, we're on her emergency list if we need her she'll come out 24 7 uh, i have completely altered everything i've done since him so that was a big it was a hard lesson to learn uh, i wish it wouldn't happen that way but it taught me to i had to go all in on this i was 
I was thought I was all in on it, and I wasn't. So now I am. Uh, so that was my hardest lesson I've had to learn so far. Yeah. Mine's the same. It, it was Garby. Our son named him after the goat on Paw Patrol. Um, he was really big into Paw Patrol at that point. So, of course, we got a goat, and he named him Garby. Um, I loved little Garby. He was he was my little buddy. Um, but I, I think that was a, an eye-opener for the both of us. Was, you know, we needed to start paying more attention to the goats. We need to start doing assessments like we should have been. It, it was a really hard, hard lesson to learn um, for the both of us. It, it hit the both of us pretty hard. Is that he, he passed in his arms. I'm a nurse, so my first instinct was I tried to do chest compressions on a goat. I mean, I <laughs> never thought I would attempt to do that, but I, we just tried everything we could to save that little fellow. And by the time we figured out that it was pneumonia, it was it was just too late. So I, I think that's the biggest lesson was, you know, we need to pay more attention and and learning that you can't save you can't save them all. You can try, but but sometimes you just can't save all of them. Okay, number four is what's your favorite chore on the homestead? And I think we got the same answer on this. We do. <laughs> it's feeding the goats. Uh, I love going out there and playing with them. And uh, I especially love wrestling with the boys. They they want to play. They like playing with me. And I grab them by the horns and mess with them. And, you know, they know who's boss. But we definitely love wrestling around and playing. Uh, I've got a bruise on my leg from today. They, they were playing and got a little rough and ran me while I was trying to feed them. So... Uh, and I love going up and petting the girls and, and hanging out with them and hanging out with Lucy and uh, I love holding the rabbits and the chickens. I just love messing with the animals. So yeah, uh, I love feeding all of them because that gives me time in the mornings and the evenings to go out and just hang out with them. So yeah, occasionally we will let the girls out in the yard. Um, yeah. It is fenced all the way around. We don't really let the boys out because number one, they don't listen. Um, I think that's a man thing. I don't listen to you. Yeah, well. Um, but we do let the girls out, and we let them run around. We play with them. The girls will actually play with Tim. Um, they'll chase him all up and down the yard. You know, we just have fun with it. So I, I love hanging out. I might give them more snacks than they should get. Um, <laughs> I can't help myself. They're just so cute. Um, but I do love going and just hanging out with them because they're so fun to watch. Number five is what's your favorite thing to grow? Uh, I love tomatoes. I can eat them straight off the vine. I, I don't care. I love every variety. I've, I've never had a one I don't like. Uh, I love playing with, you know, growing different kinds and seeing which ones taste better and everything else. So every, every time I have a garden, I always grow different varieties and try different ones. I've never grown the same plant twice. So uh, it's great, and that's my favorite thing to do. Uh, well, for me, it's definitely not tomatoes. Um, I hate tomatoes. <laughs> I like tomato things. I hate tomatoes. Um, for me, it's cucumbers. In the summer, I, that's all I want to eat is a fresh cucumber and a salt shaker. You know, hand in hand, and I'm happy. Okay, number six is, what do you love most about the homesteading community? Um, I like that I've met a lot of different people. Uh, everybody's different. Everybody has their own ways of doing things, and it, it broadens your horizons and teaches you things that you wouldn't learn by, you know, just staying, you know, doing things the only way you know how. Uh, watching other people, learning from them. Uh, you know, everybody's so great and kind, and willing to share. Uh, it's it's nice. So that's my favorite thing about the community is it's the people. Uh, and how different we are from everybody. You know, everybody does things different, and we teach each other things. So we actually agree on that. I I love that it's it does feel more like a community. Um, like if you have an issue, there are a multitude of people you can talk to to try and get an answer. Or if you're having a hard time with something, somebody can say, "Hey, try it this way. You know, this has worked for us. Just give it a try." It's just, it's the ability to share and compare ideas mm -hmm. and the ability to learn from each other. And we've learned 
we've learned quite a lot from yeah. from the homesteading community. Yeah, I take a lot of your all stuff seriously when I watch it. I a lot of things I'm trying, you know, when I want to try something, uh, I come to you guys and watch to see what you guys have put out on videos, and I, you know, I ask other people too, but. A lot of the stuff I've learned how to do, it's a it's a melting pot of what everybody else has done on here. So, number seven is what's your favorite meal to make? Um, what's yours? Well, we definitely have different ideas on this one. Um, my favorite is the pork stew that we make. Oh, yeah. Um, video I did. Well, no, mine's a little different than his. Yeah, mine's better. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't let him lie. It's not. <laughs> mine's clearly the best. Um, Who taught you how to cook? Oh, shut up, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my favorite is is the pork stew. Yeah, it's a really hearty. It's not even a soup. It's more of a stew. Mm -hmm. um, we like hearty meals. You know, kind of stuff that's going to fill you up on a, a cold day. That's yeah. kind of our our thing soups are awesome my favorite thing to do um because somebody doesn't eat deer so i get all of it i like deer steak nachos or fajitas uh love making them because we do peppers and onions and i do i do the whole shebang when i do it uh i used to make my own pico even uh, i love it i love everything about it. i love mexican food period but then again the tomatoes yeah tomatoes everywhere love it so <laughs> What's your favorite holiday? What's yours? Mine's actually St. Patty's Day. Yeah, she's she's a wannabe Irish. So. It's legit. Check the ancestry. Yeah. Uh, uh, mine's July Fourth because America. Uh, America. I love you know I love our country. I'm a patriot, uh, so I really enjoy celebrating. You know, as uh, Mister. Ron Swanson himself says history began on July 4, 1776. Everything before that was nonsense. So, uh, definitely July 4th. So, number nine is your homestead where you intend to settle or do you intend to move? Um, I'm not going anywhere. We've moved <laughs> enough times for me. Um, when we got together, got engaged, we moved into an apartment together. Lived in it for almost a year. A little bit shy of... Something popped up on the screen here. A little shy of uh, a year. And uh, I got my job where I'm at now. Making pretty good money. I was still in school when we got together and moved out. Um, we bought a house. We, we house hunted for what, three months. Three or four months. It was awful. We looked at houses. We probably looked at 20 houses a week. And we just couldn't find anything that we wanted. Hi. Um, Hossie says hello. So, we ended up buying a house that we probably shouldn't have. We have a love-hate relationship. Yeah, it was. Uh, we love to hate it. It was cheap, but it worked. It was small, but it had good, you know, good foundation and everything, and it had all the stuff that we wanted. Um, so, we have a lab that keeps passing back and forth here. He keeps walking around the coffee table. It's but, gonna uh, die if it doesn't get lovin's. Yeah. But uh, we uh, we bought the house. And we did a lot of work to it. We dropped a lot of money in it. Um, and we remodeled this house for mm -hmm. five years constantly. We did most of it ourselves except for the bathroom. We did most of the remodeling ourselves. Built a new garage. Learned uh, a lot of lessons on that yeah, one. Yeah, learned mm -hmm. a lot of new things. Uh, I'm a... I like to say I'm a jack of all trades, a master of none, but I learned a lot of things and practiced a lot of things in that house. So <laughs> We did have a lot of practice on that house. But uh, And we tried to buy the place we're in now uh, three years ago. It was before that. It was before he was born, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. it yeah, was it was him. about four years ago, a little over four years ago, we tried to buy this house. Um, this is a small community up a holler in West Virginia where my family's from. Uh, most of my family live here. Uh, so we tried to buy it and uh, it went on the market. It was really high, but we tried anyway. They ended up knocking it off the market and letting the family members live here for a couple years. Um, they ruined the home. They were supposed to rent it for two years and then they were supposed to get a mortgage and buy the home where well, they couldn't. 
so they kicked them out. They had to go through and remodel the house a little bit, had to put new flooring down and clean the garage and paint everything and uh, they turned the garage into a smoking lounge room and it was awful. It was uh, a mess. And outside wasn't taking care of bushes everywhere and it was just, it looked awful. Snakes. Uh, snakes, everywhere. Are, yeah. Snakes everywhere. So, um, they ended up calling us and saying, hey, the house is for sale again. Um, and I was in the middle of remodeling our living room at the old house, so I immediately had to throw everything together. And I think I did a pretty good job because we finished remodel, cleaned out, and sold the house in two months. Yeah. We did all that in two months um, with no help from a realtor or anything. We, I mean, we had a realtor to sell the house, but he didn't do much work on it. Uh, I did most of the legwork on selling the home. Uh, we ended up losing... We we broke even at the sale. I think we got a check for like a hundred and something dollars when we walked out of the lawyer's office because we had a home equity line of credit we used to build the garage and stuff too. Um, but we got out from under and walked away in the green barely um, and bought this house. We went through some struggles with buying this house, but um, ended up getting it for what we wanted to get it for and. We've spent the last nine months really, really busting butt on this place and getting it to where we want it to be. Um, we, bought, we, we put new roof on it with the solar panels. Um, we did a crawl space, plastic line crawl space with everything with a dehumidifier because it had humidity problems. And the sump pump. And the sump pump. Um, it had a lot of humidity problems under the house. A little bit of white mold, which we took care of. Um, Mainly the inside of the house was pretty good because they cleaned it up. It's going to work, but we're we're going to do mm. our own little touches here, here and there. Everything's white. Uh, we painted our room, my room, um, stuff like that. But the mm. bedroom still have the original oak flooring, hardwood flooring from the '60s when it was built, and uh, and we're we're going as little as we can. We're going as much as we can. We cleaned up all the bushes outside and had fence put up and. All that, so we're we're definitely staying here. I'm not moving again. I'll die here. I'll be buried here. He will. I'm going in a pine box out back. That's it. Uh, bury me in the goat pasture. I'm done. So, but the final question is: Homesteaders that I follow and enjoy watching. This is a list, people, because I watch all of you guys. It I really promise does. I do. And I I may I'm going to miss people. I'm sorry, but this is just a list that I put together. This morning, half asleep on the computer as I was catching up on videos this morning. Um, what got me started on the YouTube was Arn Family Homestead. Uh, mm -hmm. I started watching his videos about the Kiko goats when I was looking at getting goats, and ever since then, it's just I've stick I've stuck with Daniel. He's he may he has a great channel, um, and he I like watching him and the kid you know Houston and uh, and all of them on the channel and all the stuff they do. Um, another one that I found through him, these are the big two biggest channels that I watch, was Sawyer Ridge Farm. I've been with them since they were smaller. Um, they, they're Jacob and Alex. They're pretty cool people. Uh, they rate, they're the ones that got me into the rabbits, and uh, I, I really enjoy watching their channel. They're, they're great people. They seem like pretty cool people. Um, and then all the people, other people I watch, uh, Ridge Life. He's got a great channel. I'm sure most of you guys know him. Uh, Riley Homestead. Uh, I love her chickens. Uh, Bigfoot Farmer. He's up in Pennsylvania. He's, he was a smaller channel I found through Arms Family Homestead, too. Uh, he's since grown quite a bit, but uh, Jeremy and them have a great place up there. There's two families living in a house together, and they're just, a, they're just trying to live a better life like we are. Uh, they're trying to grow all their own food and do as much as they can they actually just butchered pigs so if you check them out check out the, the pig butcher stuff they just did um simply jam homestead we love simply jam we do love jam <laughs> she's fun every time she hears the music come on on the computer she's running in there she's like, like oh, oh it's jam. jam so um the heastead they're pretty cool people um O'Donnell's Aussie Homestead. I like watching him. He's pretty cool. Uh, he's shouted me out a bunch of times. Uh, I've shouted him out a bunch of times. He's a great dude. So 
Yeah, check him out. Four kids in a farm. They're pretty cool people. They do pigs and stuff, and I enjoy watching them. Popel Backyard Farm, uh, Ruthie. She's pretty. She's pretty cool. She does a lot of plant stuff and uh, things like that. Uh, Out West Homestead. They they have horses. I love horses. I want a horse, so I watch them. Striving for the Simple Life, Tina. She's awesome. She does a lot of thrifty things, and uh, we do like, do like that. So I watch her. Walker Farm Fam, who mm -hmm. tagged us in this, they're a great channel. Uh, they got a, they're a nice family out there. They raise cattle and stuff. They're cool. So check them out. Medlin Family Farm. Uh, they're a small channel, very small channel. Uh, we just did a collaboration with them too on uh, five things that we use around the homestead. Uh, they're a great channel. Check them out, definitely. A uh, new channel I just, uh, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Copper, Copper Kettle Farm, they're the one that started this. I watched them. Uh, they always have great things on their channel. Uh, Brian Loss Hills Homestead, uh, he's a great, he's a pretty cool guy. Uh, I like watching his stuff. He gives pretty good updates of his stuff going on down there. Uh, Broke Urban Farmer, he's got pretty cool stuff. He just had a video on making simple bread. Uh, and I want to start making bread again, so... Uh, we used to do it. We loved it. You know you loved it. I did. So, not gonna lie. A couple of that with some fresh honey next year. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, His Way Homestead. They're a great channel. Uh, Cold Beer Ranch. He's pretty cool. He's building, uh, I think, a little tiny house out in the woods right now. Uh, Peanuts Peppers. <laughs> Him and his birds. They're, they're antics. He's, uh, he's always chasing those birds. <laughs> <laughs> I like watching that. Um, homesteading in a great outdoors. They're a cool little channel uh, to watch. Patriot Farm. She's a very nice channel to watch. Uh, the City Stead. He does a lot of growing, a lot of greenhouse stuff, a lot of things. He does a lot of seed reviews. I really enjoy watching him, and hopefully one of these days I'll have a seed collection and stuff like he has. Um, Adventures with Frank and Tina. They're a newer channel I found. They do these cool shout-outs and stuff. They're a great channel. They're really interactive on YouTube. Uh, Ernie Hatmaker and uh, Ed's Attention to Detail, they're both great channels. And I think they're husband and wife, so uh, I like watching them. Ernie's really great. Uh, In Your Yard Homestead. His name's Josh, too, but he's from Australia. And he put a cool video out this morning about his life and how he's got to where he is now and... Uh, He's awesome, so check him out. Uh, Suburban Homesteader, Wyoming. Uh, she does great stuff. She's got a seed box going around right now. Uh, there, you know, people are taking it and getting seeds out of it. And uh oh, we have a visitor. Hi, buddy. Uh, Ryan Earl's bees. I've been watching him a lot since we're preparing for the bees. Been watching a lot of his stuff. He's got a lot of cool videos. Um, Shaky's Modern Mountain Homestead. He's a fellow West Virginian. He's up north, but I uh, like to support our fellow West Virginians for sure. Um, and I come from a long line of coon hunters. So this channel is pretty cool. And I know I'm missing a bunch of the other coon hunting channels, and I don't mean anything by this. But Mike, me and Mike, have been, he's the first one I found. Mike Umfrey at the Way to Go Kennels. I like watching his hunting videos with the, with the dogs. It makes me want to get them again. Uh it's been a long time since I've coon hunted. It's great. We used to have dogs. Uh, and we used to have a lot of dogs. We had, hey, we've had red bones and walkers and blue ticks and everything. And uh, I'm partial to red bones. Nothing, oh. nothing against the walkers. Hey, buddy. I nothing just love against, a hound. Nothing against the walkers because I had one of them too. Yeah, I've had those two. They were some of the best dogs. But hi, buddy. But. Uh, I've got a collar of a red bone that I used to have when I was little. His name was Rebel. He was my man. He was my... my I miss him every day. Um, I've actually tried to find him, but you know, at this point, he's probably dead now. It's been 15 years. so. Uh, and there's more, so many more channels we watch. And I know I miss people, but that's just the ones I could think of. And I know it's a long list. But Also, I want to do a tag. Uh, I'm supposed to tag three people, but I've got more than three. So Overachiever over here. Yeah, well. So I want to tag O'Donnell's Aussie Homestead to do the ten questions. I want to tag Shakey's Modern Mountain Homestead. I want to tag Bigfoot Farmer, Jeremy and them. And I want to tag His Way Homestead. 
Uh, those four people are officially tagged. And I'm also going to throw out an open tag. If you want to do this, do it. Uh, I'm not limiting people, but I, I'd like to see everybody's answers because this is a pretty cool thing to do. So um, that's our 10 things. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we appreciate you watching. And uh, remember to like and subscribe and share the video. And if you feel compelled to, ring the bell to get notifications when we put out new videos. Um, and we'll see you guys later. We're getting ready to go live here shortly. So we'll see you soon. Thanks. Say bye, Boogie. Bye.